Hi, this is Terrence Houlihan doing a follow-up review on the uh, Wiggies Freedom Shelter, or used to be called Lincoln's Headquarters in the Army back in the day. Uh, as the 10 Special Forces Group, we used to be issued Ecotets, but they were Gore-Tex. Uh, they were heavy, but they were really good kit. Um, this is slightly different. Um, my last review was from the Alps, uh, using this by Lake Clintolacy in Switzerland. Um, I'm now in the Wahiba Sands, also called the Sharkia Sands, in the desert in Oman. And the same problem with moisture presents. Um, you get, you wake up in the morning, it's all wet on the top. But there's two bigger problems. The vents that you have at each end with mesh over them, this is a problem. You will get sandstorms in the desert. You will get that. What the problem is, is that these things can't be sealed uh, 100%. They whip around, the wind gets underneath them, and the sand is, it's, it's like powder. It gets through everything, any mesh. So, you can try to seal up the vents over the mesh, it won't do any good. Your Ecotet is going to be filled with sand after three and a half, four hours of a sandstorm. Um, so yeah, this is not really kit that is transferable to the desert. Um, I would suggest a tent that, uh, you know, or shelter that doesn't have any apertures for sand to get in. You have a doorway and uh, that's it. Anything sand can get in is going to get in. And uh, I even tried putting things up against the... Uh, the covers that go over the mesh vents <sighs> didn't do any good. Just sand everywhere. So I, although the Ecotet is, yeah, it's, it's a good thing to keep in your rucksack. It folds up small uh, for general hiking, something like that, in woodland area. Yeah, it's fine. You know, it's good. Um, desert. video I showed you how to set up this mesh thing although you think well it's hot in the desert I, mean, I should install this little mesh insert thing you don't do that and you can say what about facing it you know in a direction that the wind isn't gonna blow stuff into it it's got one at each end and uh, yeah as soon as you open it up to get it it's, it's just honestly uh, it's, it's not really uh, something that's transferable to desert use. So, um, a worthy item in your rucksack for general purpose, um, but only woodland area or something like that, not desert. Anyway, that's, that's my follow-up.